This video demonstrates Virtual Pikes software. Virtual Pikes is a topology optimization software. It works with ANSYS via Workbench integration. The software uses the ANSYS solver during optimization cycles. Besides linear static frequency and buckling analysis, it also deals with optimization of nonlinear situations, for example, geometric, material, frictional contact. The software has robust and modern filter techniques based on projection and heaviside methods. The manufacturing constraints are mathematically formulated. More than 26 combinations are available, for example, casting, extrusion, symmetry, member size. Virtual Pikes has a proper treatment of the sensibilities, achieving more weight reduction while keeping the same level of stiffness. It's a unique solution for complex analysis like compliant mechanisms. It also deals with optimization of multi-physics analysis, for example, electromagnetic, thermal, fluid to structural. Let's set up a Virtual Pikes demonstration in ANSYS Workbench. A nonlinear static analysis has been created before we start the topology optimization. The assembly has six bodies the cone road, the cone road cap, the bearing, the pin and also two screws joining cone road and cap. All bodies are connected by a frictional contact. The frictional coefficient used is dot one. There is contact between the following bodies con rod and pin, con rod and bearing, cap and bearing, con rod and cap, screw and con rod, screw and cap. For this analysis, the bearing is fixed. The mechanical project of the cone road requires three loading steps. Both load in the screws. Traction force acting in the pin during inertial cycle. And compression force acting in the pin during explosion cycle. During the first load step, the two bolt loads are applied. During second and third load steps, they are locked. The second load step represents the maximum traction force. The third load step represents the maximum of compression force. After we get the solution of the static analysis, we can see the results. 
This is the foamesis stress result of the second load step during traction force, show it in magnified scale. And this is the foamesis stress of the third load step during compression force. Now we will start the software demonstration. First, we install the virtual pipes extension as shown. Then we can bring the virtual pipes extension into our simulation project. And see that virtual pipes optimization to bar has been added. And now the project tree shows that we can start the topology optimization setup. Our goal is to have the stiffest design of the corroding cap with 35% of the initial mass. In this case, we are keeping all the analysis setting as a default, but the user can interact to different options of the optimizer. We select the Conroad and Cap as design entities to be optimized. Now we create a volume constraint. In this case, a fraction less or equal to 35% of the initial volume of the cone road and cap is selected. Then we rename this constraint as volume. Then we create a load case combination. The strain energy of the traction and compression forces are used. They are the second and the third load steps. Finally, we define the objective function. In this case, we will minimize the corrode and cap compliance, maximizing the stiffness. For the load case selection, we change from single to combination and we select the load case combination we have just created. We will create two planar symmetry constraints enforcing symmetry to our design. Both constraints will have the global coordinate system as reference. The first symmetry we get by plane YZ having X as a normal vector. Then we rename this constraint as YZ symmetry. In the same way, a second symmetry was created having Z as a normal vector. Other manufacturing constraints can also be selected from the constraint button.
now we can run the virtual pipes solution calling ANSYS solver during our optimization interaction. After the solution is done, we may view the pseudo densities on elements and nodes by adding them to our project. Now we see the results. The element density result shows regions that must be kept the red elements and regions that can be removed, the blue elements. Now we will see the nodal density result. This is a smoothed surface that can be exported as an STL file and then it can be imported in a CAD software for a new design. For more information about virtual pipes, visit our website www.virtualpipes.com or email us info at virtualpipes.com.